Thank you so much. Um, you know him from Ray Donovan, Miss Bala, The Mandalorian, and The Undoing. And this year, you can see him in Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. But tonight, we recognize Ismael Cruz Cordova for his barrier-breaking yeah, for his barrier-breaking work in the face of adversity as Arondir in the Amazon Prime video series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Now, I've had the privilege of, uh, yes, go ahead. I, I've had the privilege of directing Ismael twice now, uh, a front row seat to uh, his extraordinary cinematic face. It's like that of a great silent film actor. Watching the way he approaches his characters physically, cerebrally, yet intuitively, finding their inner grace with imagination and humor, witnessing his freedom as an actor, holding nothing back is inspiring and always a little mysterious. Ismail becomes, I can't say it any other way, he simply becomes that character. There's really nothing quite like locking eyes with him on set, you know, those stunning, mesmerizing, piercing, hypnotic eyes. And I'm talking about mine. And knowing that, in that instant, that we're about to go down a road together and discover something new. So Ismail made opportunities for himself when opportunities weren't easy to come by. Because of him, young Afro-Latino and Latino actors out there will find that the door is open a little wider. But we're only getting a glimpse of Ismael's extraordinary range as an artist. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're back here soon honoring him as a director in the coming years. He has that once in a lifetime quality that commands the screen and our attention. And my respect for him as an actor is only rivaled by my love and trust in him as a friend. So let's take a look at some of Ismail's latest work. This was no ground shake. Someone dug this passage. Something. Men did not do this. Go. Warn your people. You're not coming with me. I must follow the passage the other direction. I don't know what's down there. That is the reason I must go. So it gives me uh, great pleasure to present Ismael Cruz Cordova with this year's Breakthrough Actor Award for Television. No one deserves it more. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? It's too quiet to be a Latino night. What's going on? <laughs> que viva, que viva. Mira, ahora en inglés. Um, no, this is this is truly special to be in a room filled with, to the brim with people who have inspired me since I was a child, people whom I've worked with and call friends, and people who I've watched and in awe and hope to work with in the future. When I received the message that I was receiving this award, I had to think a lot about exactly what is an award. You know, I, I mean, because somewhere along the journey, when you decide to become an actor or any kind of artist, you have to kind of make a pact to yourself that you will not seek out awards and that you will not care about accolades because what's supposed to drive you is something greater that cannot be shifted by opinion. You know, and somewhere along the line, when I was homeless in New York City, going to every open casting call imaginable, I did make that pact, not gonna lie. So now, I have to think long and hard, what did this award even mean? You know, this year, one of my wildest dream jobs finally, finally came to the light, as you saw, you know, in Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, mouthful. <laughs> but for about two years now, since my, cast, my casting in it was announced, I've been viciously and consistently attacked with the most vile and painful racism. So what is an award when every day you wake up and you are bombarded by violence online, when people are telling you that you shouldn't exist, that your skin color has ruined their favorite childhood books, that, that is repulsive to have to endure seeing someone like me on screen? You know, receiving death threats, the latest, someone claiming to be in a very notable hate group, telling me to watch my back, that they were seeing my every move, 
that they would silence me if I'd continue to talk. So, what is an award then? Well, an award is a hand on my shoulder telling me I got you. An award. An award feels like a hug in those moments when I felt that I can't carry on. An award is a glass of fresh water in the side of the road of this long marathon that we're all running in. An award when I have spent my entire life sacrificing it all and leaving everything and everyone I love behind so that my people, our people, our Latinos would no longer be invisible. Well, this award is you're telling me I see you. It And that's what that award, this award means to me. It's an affirmation because I'm not better than any other passionate actor that's out there that's been fighting to get an opportunity like mine. You know, my role in, in Lord of the Rings has become something greater than just a role. It has become a movement. You know, many people across the globe share their deepest personal stories of how they have felt invisible, cast away, mocked for dreaming to be part of narrative like, narratives like this one. And, and now can finally see themselves represented in my work in power, strength, and dignity. Things that we're not often given the opportunity to show. You know, all those parents who, whose kids say, oh, he looks, he looks like me, I can be an elf now. You know, <laughs> sending me the pictures of the little kids dressed as beautiful black and brown elves. This award tells me that you have all taken the decision to be part of this movement. That you are telling me and the world that we are here to carry you forward. You know, some of that way, to carry that way, to not let anyone believe that you're going to be silenced. That you're here to amplify all of our voices so that all of those that are trying to deafen all of our work here can hear us loud and clear. That we are here, we have been here, and we're not going anywhere. All right? So thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you involved in giving these. Thank you for seeing us. Thank you for seeing us.